Okay, in this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the concept of creating an alert. Now, in Oracle, an alert is a little window that pops up that gives you a message that you can then click a button and decide what you want to do on it. And a lot of times you'll do alerts to notify somebody if there's an error or if there's something like, are you sure you really want to do that? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start to create an alert. Now I'm going to go into the Object Man Navigator and go to Alerts. And then I'm going to click on the plus, which brings up the, which creates a new alert. And I'm going to call, and I'm going to rename the alert, and I'm going to call it um, Alert. Are you sure? Okay, so now I'm creating an alert called Are You Sure. I'm going to right-click on it and bring up the property palette. So now what I've got is I've got the property palette for my new alert. So my alert's going to say it's going to have a title. It's going to say, are you sure? And then it's going to have a message. And I can use the editor here. I'm going to say, pick up here, and I'm going to say, are you really sure you want to do that? OK. Now, by default, I'm going to have an alert style to stop. Now I could have it a caution. I'm going to make and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make it a caution alert. It's going to have a little yellow triangle on it. And now I can have up to three buttons. And I can say yes, no, and I'll put maybe. So now I've got I'm going to have three buttons on my alert, and I can then choose. Um, you know what? I don't want. I'm going to say button two the no button is going to be the default button and then the rest of these things are the the visual attributes so now I have got a but I've now got an alert so now let me use the alert so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here I'm going to bring up uh, the layout editor and I'm going to say throw a button on here okay so now I've added a button I want to put a trigger a when button press trigger on the button in order to show my alert so I'm going to right click on the button I'm going to go to smart triggers and bring up when button pressed so that'll bring up the PL SQL editor now the function show alert is what is used to show an alert so uh, and that returns a numeric value so the first thing I need to do is declare a number to return the alert value into and then as with all PL SQL blocks I have a begin and an end and then I say s colon equals show alert and then alert are you sure and this part right here is going to show the alert called are you sure that I built before and then it's going to return the value into s now, what, the, what Oracle does is it's got some built-in constants. So if I say if s equals alert value, I'm sorry, alert button 1, then I'll put, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to use the depth name field for my form. I'm going to say equals yes, and if... Okay, so if it is alert button one, then depth name equals yes. If it's alert button two, then I am going to say no. And if it's alert button three, I'm going to say maybe. And let me compile this real quick. And as usual, I've got some bug here. Counter the symbol, yes. Extra tick here. Same extra tick since I copied. Let me do that one more time. Okay, so now I've got a working function. So let me run the form. Okay, so now I'm running my form. This is, I'm going to click on the button that's going to fire the one button press trigger it's going to bring up the alert I created. Remember I had a title of are you sure and it says are you really sure you want to do that? So if I click yes it's going to put yes in there. I can bring it back up. If I hit no it puts no in there and if I hit
hit maybe, it puts maybe in there. So as you can see, um, alerts are very easy to use. Uh, you just have to know that it returns a numeric value and that you use alert button 1, alert button 2, and alert button 3 to um, act on what your alert um, displayed to your user.